Good morning, everyone. Today is Tuesday, April 20th, 28th, 2020. Let's get started on our virtual learning. Remember, our sound of the week is focusing on those three letter blends SCR, SCR, SPL, SPL, STR, STR, SPR, SPUR. At, at THR, THR, and SHR, sure. Let's watch the video. When three consonants get together, they make a gang. A gang of three. <laughs> S, K, R, SCR, EAM, SCREAM. Finding a gang of three in a word helps you break it into smaller chunks, making it easier to read and spell. Here are some more consonants that make a gang of three. Thr, o, throw, spr, ing, spring. Shr, ink, shrink. Str, ong, strong. Spl, ash, splash. There are six different gangs to look out for. Thr, spr, shr, scr, str, spl. We're the toughest gang of three around here. Excellent. So this week, make sure that you focus on those three letter blends. Get your timers ready. I want you to try and read these three letter blends in one minute. Pause the video here and set your timer. Ready, set, go! Did you do it? Let's see if you read the words correctly. Follow along with me. Scrap. Scrawl. Screen. Scream. Scrimp. Scroll. Scrub. Script. Scribe. Scram, scratch, screech, scrape, splash, splat, splay, splice, splint, split, splotch, sprang. Sprawl, spray, spread, spree. Excellent job, friends. Those are some really hard words. Practice reading and writing these words. Let's look at our high frequency and vocabulary words for the week. Before. They read before going to bed. Front. The dog walks in front of the girl. Heard. Have you heard dad play? Push. Mom will push the sled. 
tomorrow. I hope it will be sunny tomorrow. Your. I'm glad to meet your mom. Now for our vocabulary words. Difficult. This puzzle is difficult to do. Remember, difficult means that it's not easy. Nobody. Nobody is on the porch. Remember, nobody means no person. There is no person on the porch. Let's start sorting. Pause here and see if you can put them in order. Ready to check? Our first word is spring. Spring has the S-P-R beginning blend. Scratch. Scratch has S-C-R beginning blend. Before. Hmm. Before doesn't have a beginning three-letter blend. It's one of our, our high-frequency words. Splash. Splash has the spool beginning blend. Strong. Strong has the stir blend. Split has the spool. Throw. Throw has the THR three letter blend. String. Stir. Heard. That's our site, our high frequency word. It does not have one of those three letter blends. Shrub has the shr. But guess what? They didn't give us a spot, so we have to put it in the other, other category. But it does have the shr three letter blend. Three. Thrr. Spray, spur, scrape, scrur. Friends, make sure that you're saying your long A for scrape because of the magic E. If I cover the magic E, that word becomes scrap. It doesn't have the E to give it that long vowel sound. Two more. Street. What beginning blend does it have? Stir, S-T-R. Last one, scream, has the scrr, three letter blend. Awesome. Now we're going to review compound words, but more so their meanings. Compound words are when you put two small words to make one long one. For example, the word birdhouse is a compound word. But if we break it up, bird and house equals birdhouse, the definition, we have to look at those two small words, bird and house. A birdhouse is a house for birds to live in. Let's try these. Number one, blank fall. Well, what word can become a compound word by adding these at the beginning? Snowfall. Well, what does snowfall mean? It means that the snow is falling. It's coming down. Number two, row blank. Row time, row boat, row snow, row home. That's right, rowboat. What's the definition or what is a rowboat? Well, it's a boat that you have to row using oars. You row in the boat. Number three, homemade. What does homemade mean? 
it's something you made at home. You didn't make it at the store. It was something made at home. Last one. Bed time. Bedtime. What do you think bedtime means? Time for bed. That's right. So when you have a compound word, break it up into those two small words to find out the meaning behind it. Now we're going to focus on theme. Remember, theme is the message or big idea that's shared with the reader. We find clues from our story, our text evidence, to help us figure out what the overall message was. Turn to page 310 in your Your Turn practice book. Let's read this story. A spring birthday. We're going to focus on what traditions you know about. May was a happy time for Marco. It was his birthday month. Can I have a party this year? He asked. Then my friends can celebrate with me. It's our family tradition to have a birthday dinner, said Graham. Your friends can join us. I will make empanadas for everyone. Nobody makes better empanadas, Graham, Marco said. But it would be fun to do something new this year. How about a picnic? asked Dad. I heard about a nice spot in the park on Elm Street. It's in front of the ball field. We can push the tables together. We can have... Oh, sounds like fun, said Marco. We can have hot dogs, burgers, and grams and bananas. At last, it was the morning of Marco's birthday. He opened his eyes. He saw Mom and Dad and Graham. They were singing the Mexican birthday song, Las Man Mananitas. Marco sprang out of bed. He could not wait for his party. Mom and Dad went shopping before the party. First, they got a baseball mitt for Marco. Then they bought a birthday cake and a piñata. Everyone met at the picnic spot. Happy birthday! Feliz cumpleaños, Marco! They shouted. Mom hung the piñata. Dad spread out, of the f spread out the food. There were hot dogs, burgers, and yummy empanadas. After lunch, the children took turns striking the piñata. Each one swung three times. The piñata was difficult to hit. At last, it split open. The kids shrieked and scrambled for the treats. Next, Marco opened his gifts. When he saw the baseball mitt, he cried, Thank you! This is just what I wanted! I can use it in the game tomorrow! When it ta came time for mm, Mrs. Ciccarelli, when it was time for cake, Marco's family sang the Mexican birthday song again. Marco's friends hummed along. Then mom taught them the words so they could sing it too. This is the best birthday party I've ever had, Marco said. Can we do this again next year? Sure, said Graham. It's fun to mix the old with the new. A spring picnic can be your birthday tradition. Hmm, think about what the theme is. The theme is the message of the story. What traditions do you know about from other places in the world? Or maybe even in your own household? What is a tradition you do? Maybe for your birthday, for Christmas, holidays, Easter? Well, I want you to turn to your page and you are going to fill out the theme chart. Find clues from our story, and then what do you think the overall theme is? For instance, on page 285, it said, It's our family tradition.
to have a birthday dinner. So what's a clue? A birthday dinner is a family tradition. Find more, find more clues from our text by pausing and going back in our video to look at these pages. Find text evidence to help fill in your chart. Pause here. Let's see if you've got the theme and some really good clues from our story. You could have had some of these clues. A birthday dinner is a family tradition. Marco's family had a picnic with a piñata and bananas and other kinds of food. And Marco wants a birthday picnic next year. What's the theme? Well, it's to blend old and new to make a new tradition. Using the empanadas and piñata was an old tradition, but having a picnic for and including that dinner made it a new tradition. Well, everyone, great work today. Happy Tuesday, and I hope you had a lot of fun working with me today. Don't forget, 20 minutes on Lexia and 20 minutes reading. Get those reading counts points in. As always, I miss you a ton. Talk to you tomorrow.